Cool. All right, boys and girls, well done. That's one half track the uh, Americans are not up struggle to replace. And we only lost a few hundred men. Oh, I say, men, you weren't. Ooh, um, Captain Wagner, sir. What the f are you? Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, I'm your new uh, assistant gunner. My name's Norman. Whatever. Did you uh, go to anti tank school or, or not? No, no, I, I never even finished normal school, mate. Oh, you'll fit right in here then, won't you? Yeah. I'm just a clerk typist. Well, at least you're of reading age, Norman. Bonus. They just grabbed me off the truck, really, and, uh, you know, here I am. We used to have a truck. I've only been in the army eight weeks, mate, and the lieutenant says I'm up for promotion on Tuesday. I mean, you try shifting this f***er without a truck. I mean, we lost that for Lee's, of course. It's got to be some kind of mistake, hasn't it? Army don't make mistakes. Oh, oh no, wait. No, they do, actually, all the time. Yeah, invading Russia. That was a pretty big one. Yeah, that was a whopper. Yeah. In fact, mistakes are very much the norm. So, uh... Which way's the front? Which way's the front? Hmm. Well, it's here. And don't desert, because I'll send you to the other one, and that's... Well, that's just over there. Eastwards, actually. Now, this gun, right, is your home. Until we retreat in about, uh, half an hour. Yeah, anyway, this is where you sit. Um, yeah, I get a cold bucket of water from the latrine and, uh, wash the seat down because, uh, well, there's a big puddle of face from where Zoller exploded about 20 minutes ago. Anyway, boys and girls, get ready. There'll be a long suit with reinforcements to rescue all their stranded soldiers in the field. I doubt they'll just leave them there. I don't know why they didn't run away, to be honest. <laughs> I had the best assistant gunner in the whole Wehrmacht. Now I've got you. Oh, here they come everyone. Yep, here come the tanks. Yeah, we we're f***ed. Well, what about like artillery or, or air support or, you know? Yeah, I'm surprised they're not using any. Yeah, I mean, ours? I'm surprised you think we have any. Yeah, luckily, I've already knocked out that half track there. So we've got the range. Perfect. Yeah, oh, here they come. Look, four tanks driving straight at us. Fire! Oh, shit. Just a ricochet. We're okay. What am I shooting at? What the Yankees, dumb Schweinerhund? Uh, Captain Wagner? Yeah, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, is it right if I, uh, run? No. I ain't never run before. It's something I used to say until about 1943. Yeah, now it would actually seem like a pretty... Pretty good time to run, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably bump into a well-placed tiger tank and that'll, you know, finish them off. Yeah. Yeah. Scare me, scaremonger. Come, come, Mr. Bond. Are you sure you didn't leave your oven on at home? Nice try, scaremonger, but it won't work. Ah, a Walther PPK. A small gun, but I have smaller. This is a real gun. It fires real bullets. Does that scare you, Mr. Bond? It should. Why, that's no real gun. That's a goat gun. It's a high-quality miniature, just like your sidekick over there. Tic-tac. Recognized it as an authentic diecast model immediately. They're very popular with over 10,000 five star reviews. Why, I could see its functional, intricate parts from here. Boo! I bet I scared you that time, Bond. No, you're just the man with the golden goat gun. Not scary at all. My gun might not be real gold or fire real bullets, but it's heavier than you might expect, thanks to its premium quality components. It would hurt if I threw it at you. Does that scare you, Mr. Bond? Does it? Frightfully sorry. A man with what appears to be a normal-sized gun. No, it's not a real gun. It's another goat gun. I forgot he's just very small. This'll make my weapon look quite big. You know I started this war beating the Allies in Africa? Did you? Did we win that? Then beating them in Italy, then in France, now I'm beating them in Germany. Really? Well, I'd hate to see what losing looks like. 
think I want to surrender. Please don't. I'll hurt you real bad and kill you real bad with my Sten gun. Yeah, um, why are you using an enemy weapon? Isn't that, you know, just like spot dangerous? Because the enemy's weapons are bound to be better than ours, aren't they? You know what they say, that's grass, it's always gruner. Anyway, stop and put your uh, anti-tank mine down here. But why? I mean, it's just a random track in the middle of nowhere. What if a civilian comes down here in their car? Our civilians can't afford to run cars. No, they can't get the fuel, they? That's why they walk up and down the side of the road, asking for chocolate, yeah. Go on, put the mine down then. If only we had thousands of these, that'd stop that Sherman tank. Yeah, could call it the uh, Siegfried mine. Way! Yeah, that was good, yeah. God, we're really bonding out here, aren't we, Norman? Yeah. Here comes one of those Shermans now. Hang on, I've got a plan. Come on. Right, Norman, now remember, your name's Emma, okay? And if they offer you a chocolate bar, for God's sake, don't take it. Now it's the to Ruben. Right again. Yeah, this is that's moving. Come on. Right again. Walk, 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 run, run, run! Everybody sing! Sing louder! Oh look, there's that Sherman tank from earlier. I told you that miner put down would have done the job. That or it's broken down. Classic Yankee Sherman reliability, am I right, boys? You never see a Panther tank doing that. Captain Wagner, can we take a look? I've never even seen the inside of a tank before. Absolutely, we'll, we'll march right up to it in perfect formation. Shouldn't we drop a couple of grenades in it first? No, 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 save them. Might need them later. Yeah, besides, look, there's a dead comrade spread across the front of the hull like a knackered insect on a windshield. Ugh. And look, there's some fire that's well placed around the hull. Yeah, I'm certain that's, that's very convincingly knocked out. Yeah. All right, lads, open her up and uh, take a look inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain that is. It's gone. Somebody fire a Panzerfaust at it! Why has nobody got a Panzerfaust? You! Fire a Panzerfaust at that tank! I don't know what's happened. Everyone had one earlier and we were marching along and now... Regroup! Regroup, you bastards! Oh, what the f are you playing at? I mean, you boys are killing me out there. Well, actually, they're, they're killing you. I mean, what happened to all the Panzerfaust you had? I mean, luckily, right, we found one more box. Panzerfaust, Norman. Right. Now, don't waste them, yeah? Because they're all we've got. Luckily, they're so easy to use, a child could do it, yeah? And often does. Right, go on, off you go, attack the tank. Yeah, and watch out for that bow gunner, because he's a machine on that thing. Yeah, off you go. Oh, f off. Oh, oh, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. And you're on the water! Oh, you. Go, oh, yes! Yes, nice! Yes! I think you wounded one of them. Yeah, they're all crying in there. Not sure why. I mean, most of their character development was uh, cut, but whatever. Nice. All right, boys, let's give them all a minute to mourn. Stop the attack. Oh, we're still getting slaughtered out there, aren't we, boys? Yeah, in fact, it's starting to become just a little bit unbelievable, if you think about it. Yeah, luckily, they've killed so many of you, yeah, that they're probably starting to run low on ammunition now. So that's good. And I mean, coupled with the fact that it's about to become nighttime suddenly, 
we might still stand a chance. Yeah, now, has anyone got any idea at all how we take out this tank? Brian, go on, shoot. Uh, well, we could request panzer support, sir. Oh, panzer support? Oh, things are a bit difficult. Call in the panzers. No, glory hogs. No, what we need is a sniper. Not sure why. It'll probably help, though. Hey, look. It's dark now. All right, lads, press the attack. I reckon they're low on ammunition now, so you'll probably be all right. Shit. Sorry about that. Medic! Whoa, hang on boys! Look, it's Brad Pitt! Oh, hang on, is it? No. No, I don't think... No, it is Brad Pitt! Yeah. Someone's been raiding all the French pantries. Yeah, dear me. Hey, look, Norman. Stumgewehr. See? Yeah. All right, boys, bring up the sniper. Take him out. Ooh. Yeah, that's done him. Right, you lads, bang a couple of grenades in there uh, with a really long fuse to finish him off. All right, boys. Nicely done. 250 men for one tank. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, we can afford that kind of attrition, I reckon. Uh, sir, there's a man under this tank. And shoot him then. <laughs> Best job I ever had. God, I love the tank museum. Oh, so many tanks. Such a great YouTube channel. You ought to go and see that. God, anyone would be lucky to visit here. Wait there, I'll be down. Wait exactly where you are. I'll be down in just a second. I'll take you around, okay? I'll show you what we've got. Just wait, wait, wait one minute where you are, right there now. So, you thought differential gears were going to be interesting, but if I take you up here, I can show you what the French were doing at about the same time. So anyway, one of the things I personally find quite interesting is this terminology because every time they're trying to put a new type of vehicle in, they always come up with some funny new way of trying to describe these things. So as we go down here, you can see some of the bits and pieces they've come up with. For example here, technically this was an APC, but now they've called it an IFE, an infantry fighting vehicle, because we've got a turret in. And then if you come over onto this one, we've got... This one over here, I'll show you the one with the headlights. This one's got the headlights on. If you come back this way, and I can show you there's the eighth example of the type of suspension I was on about. Different types of suspension systems are visible all over the collection here. You can see horsemen, you can see torsion. Yeah, I mean, I've had a lovely day, you know, it's been lovely here, yeah, but I, I haven't been able to lose the curator. He's a right pain in the arse. Yeah, I think I've got rid of him in the gift shop, though. Oh, I wouldn't worry, that's probably the last you've seen of him. Sausage. In addition to thanking the Good Tech Museum at Bovington and our Patreons, we'd also like to extend thanks to Armageddon. Yes, go and play paintball tanks there, they're very good. Uh, they lent us a pack 40 for the day, so uh, yeah, good on them. Anyway, cheerio.